Hello guys, uh, welcome to the EZ classes. The topic that we are going to take up today is very basic to the study of macroeconomics. And in this topic, we will acquaint ourselves with uh, as to how the economic activities in the economy um, are organized. Okay, what relationship does there exist between various players of uh, the economy? like producers, owners of the factors of production, uh, the goods that are produced, how uh, they are supplied and how the demand gets generated, etc. Okay. So topic not only provides us the understanding for the functioning of the macroeconomics or macroeconomy, it also becomes the basis for understanding the general equilibrium analysis of the economy uh, that we will discuss. Uh, in other video okay so uh, we will see as to how the economic activities are organized when there is no government that is only two sector um, uh, exists so so called two sector model where only the household and one uh, and the producing sector okay so on the one hand you can take the household household where in on the other hand there are farms okay this ho household provides the farms with the factors of production because it is the members of the household that are the owners of the factors of production whether it is the labor the capital the land and the entrepreneurship itself okay please remove from your mind because at the stage where this topic is imparted in undergraduate course I mean there's one of the topic which is uh, taught in the very beginning so impression uh, occurs in uh, one's mind uh, that as if the farms and households are two separate entities uh, they are two uh, separate geographical uh, locations I mean, they are identified by their functions. I mean, uh, the entities that are producing, they are the firms that might exist within uh, the, uh, I mean, the locality where the people are uh, living. Okay. So, household, uh, and we are assuming that there exist only two sectors. Government is not there. External sector is not there. Okay. I mean, there exist this kind of flow that factors of production production goes from household to farms what these factors of productions are it is labor land let me write it here labor land capital and entrepreneurship right now it is when these factors of productions are combined and put to work what results is what result in is output okay So it is output, output in the form of various goods and various services. So this is the real activity in the economy which is going on. Okay, that is household supplies the firm with the factors of production and the firms has produced which will ultimately be consumed by the households themselves. Okay, they themselves are the owners of the various factors of productions okay now but here money comes into the picture so this is the real flow okay now let us consider the monetary flow monetary flow is that in lieu of these factors of production it is the firm that provide the household with the remuneration of these factors of production in the form of wage in the form of rent, in the form of interest, 
and the profit. Okay. Now this is monetary flow. This for the real flow. This for the monetary flow. Okay. So what happens in this? Factors of productions um, were supplied to the farm, uh, farms, and farms um, have paid them in the form of the remuneration to these factors of production. Okay. In which entrepreneur himself, the profit that he is pocketing uh, is the one which is flowing from farms to the household. Okay. Now, in the output which is so produced by the farm and that will ultimately be consumed by the household will be facilitated by uh, the medium that the money income that has been, this is money income. Okay. Money income. So, this money income is equivalent in measure um, to the output that has been produced. Okay. Okay. Payment for the goods and services. Right. Now, so circle is complete. I mean, both the circle uh, circles are complete. That is the real flow and the monetary flow. That is the amount of factors of production and as a result of which the output um, um, factors of productions go from household to farm and the output goes uh, from farms uh, to the household. You can also add into this. It's not that uh, I mean uh, some of the factors might be supplied through some institution. For example, it is the capital that um, will be uh, facilitated uh, by the financial institutions. So you can factor in um, that as well uh, where uh, one entity will be added up I mean the financial sector financial institutions okay but I have for the uh, reason of simplicity for the sake of um, uh, to not to make this model complicated because I have to add another thing okay now this is the simple model of the circular flow of economic activity that consists of two kinds of flows one is the real one another is the monetary one now but no economy is without the government government has to be there okay because a considerable amount of economic activities take place in the government sector okay now when government sector comes in you will have to take into account the government sector also now let me introduce the government here government is a big player in the economy government supplies various services government supplies various public goods as well as the married goods to the households and some items to the firms also in the form of the infrastructure that facilitates the firm to produce with efficiency okay so it is infrastructure right and to the household government provides various public goods as well as married goods if what are the public goods and what are the married goods i have already explained in one of my earlier videos okay it's not that the firms are not the consumers of the public goods okay um, because some of the infrastructure itself uh, comes under the category of the public goods so you can add public goods also and some of the infrastructure might not be uh, or might not come in the category of public goods but some definitely uh, is included in the category of public good so let me repeat in one line the public goods by definitions of those where consumption is non-rival and exclusion is non-feasible in order to understand that and to see the nuances of this uh, you can refer to my uh, earlier video on the topic of public goods and the married goods okay now question is how does government provides these things obviously government is not a business entity government itself uh, does not um, I mean uh, conduct uh, the business of production or some I mean there could be 
uh, some um, entities or public sector enterprises that might be owned by the government but to that extent government itself would come in the category of uh, the firms okay so where does the government find the resources resources comes to the government in the form of the taxes and uh, from here also taxes are paid okay when we say that uh, government uh, provides to the household the public goods and the merit goods uh, a subsidy is also the item and some of the subsidy um, might be disguised under the merit goods because merit goods are the one that are uh, subsidized in one way or the other either by underpricing or by the direct cash subsidy that um, uh, is basically a negative tax that flows from government to uh, the household okay and some of the subsidies could be provided to the firms also that would ultimately get uh, passed on to the firms so that dynamics is also there but in order to keep the model simple uh, you can um, see as to how government intervenes in the uh, organization of the economy or where the government is placed because government itself is a big player of the game government employs um, uh, many uh, people for example there would be considerable amount of people that would be working under the government sector okay so they would be working with the government and from the government uh, they might be receiving the wages okay uh, and similarly government might be borrowing from the public through the again through the financial sector by issuing securities I mean um, by issuing the bonds etc um, I mean the um, financial sector would be mediating between the government and the household and between the government and the firms okay so again in order to keep the matter simple I am not uh, uh, considering many things uh, into it but one now the, our model has become three sector model that is household firms that is producing sector and the government now still one major sector is omitted that is the external sector because no economy in today's world is autarky autarky means when there is no import or export a country is uh, self-contained with itself it consumes what it produces through uh, the distribution uh, mechanism and it does not go beyond that but in modern economies uh, you find that trade relations are there uh, some countries would be big uh, trade economies some country would be but uh, some country would be less I mean a smaller trade economies but uh, no economy could be the one uh, that does not uh, enter into the trade with other countries now with the addition of the uh, external sector I mean basically the export and import activities okay that means the consumption of the goods produced by foreigners and the supplying to the goods to the foreigners that are produced in the economy that means here you will take into account the export and import now what are the things that are exported there are goods as well as factors of production what are the factors of production that are exported they are labor the various people of one country they are working in, uh, in other, another country okay and in return uh, they uh, I mean uh, country receives uh, the remittances it could be various uh, services uh, for example uh, it is the capital also that might go from this household sector land might not be transferred but there could be other mechanism where foreigners are uh, allowed to invest in your country and where whatever they are earning um, uh, and paying to the rent that can also be incorporated but again um, it's better not to uh, keep the model much more complicated so something uh, that are exported uh, from the household and the goods and services are um, sold uh, uh, to the uh, foreign countries okay uh, 
and they are the goods and the services services could be uh, say for example uh, financial sector services it could be communication services it could be uh, transportation services i mean these are the one that are sold okay your own say for example insurance companies might be doing work uh, outside so you are uh, supplying these services um, uh, indigenous bank might be operating in some foreign country so that is nothing but the export of services to those countries okay so here uh, the goods and services that means to this extent the demand for the factors of production and demand for part of the goods demand for parts of the factors of production and demand for parts of the firms uh, go to um, the other country other than your own or well, that is export okay now when you export to other countries you receive in the form of the foreign exchange and it is with this foreign exchange you buy the goods that are not produced in your countries but from outside so you happen to be beneficiaries of those goods that either you are not capable of producing in sufficient quantity or if at all you will be producing it you will be producing at uh, exorbitant cost so that you import it is this export primarily that enables you to import the things from um, um, abroad okay so uh, who imports it is household it is the consumption goods i mean again it's not that uh, the household is directly importing there are the institutions they are the uh, household farms oh sorry there are the import farms that are there and so things are distributed but eventually that go to household it may be mediated here by uh, certain um, entities okay uh, and what is imported by the firms it is the technology and also the factors of production and some inputs so what what is this inputs technology and factors of production what factors of production capital could be there when you are raising the capital uh, outside uh, you are employing uh, some of the uh, labor force from outside i mean the various countries where that employ labor from other countries say for example uh, indians uh, work in many countries uh, similarly the uh, other countries work uh, uh, in india uh, many americans uh, work um, outside uh, us and uh, many uh, workers from outside works in uh, united states etc so this way uh, this uh, circle flow gets uh, complete that is with uh, the external sector so these two things they are nothing let me write it is the external sector okay so now it's a four sector model uh, household sector producing sector that is the firms government sector and the external sector the only thing uh, that is not shown here is various institutions that mediate between uh, these uh, entities okay otherwise this is how the circular flow of economic activity is organized so thank you very much guys